Hey there, and let's get to it. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you for surviving the project settings videos. I'm happy to say that we're almost past all the background stuff. There's only one thing left, and that is the DaVinci Resolve preferences controls. What these do is set up the environment of your DaVinci Resolve workstation, as opposed to your individual projects. As such, you generally don't change these settings on a single workstation. Also keep in mind that any changes that you apply inside of the DaVinci Resolve preferences will only take effect after you have restarted the program. So just like the settings, on the left hand side you have a series of submenus. At the top you have System, which allows you to select your language. You can indicate your pre-allocated system memory. This is also where you can choose to activate the multi-user login window. Or to use a grey background interface behind your viewer. At the bottom, you will see a list of all your current available GPUs. Media storage is probably the control that you'll be using the most. It lists all the currently mounted storage volumes. It's a good idea to mount every volume that your computer supports, especially the ports that you'll be plugging your external drives and RAIDs into. You can choose to add and remove storage volumes at the bottom, or you can choose to show all the mounted volumes in the library in the top left-hand corner of the media page. Keep in mind that the first volume in this list is where your gallery stills and cache files will be sent to, so make sure it's a volume with plenty of room and one that you'll remember to clear out often. If you're working on large projects and heavy resolutions, you might be interested in having a dedicated external drive in which to store all of your cache data. Now, my video in-out and my GPU controls do not allow me to indicate any dedicated plugins or programs. If you're using a RED camera, then RED Rocket might come up as an option for Resolve Live use. If playback speed is an issue, you can turn these options off to force standard RED software debayering inside of DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is capable of supporting third-party VST plugins for your audio. You'll see that by default, it's looking inside of your Steinberg folder and inside of your program files for any audio plugins you might already have, uh, but you can add further folders and any audio plugins or synthesizers that you may have previously downloaded or purchased. The controls panel menu allows you to select a control surface if you're using one. And lastly, you've got the advanced panel, which is basically a terminal which allows you to input uh, any kind of specialized Resolve configurations. I'd leave this well alone unless you have a very specific reason to be here. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to the preferences panel. As you can see, there's really not much to change uh, aside from your scratch disks. Once you're happy with your changes, click save and make sure to restart the software to enable the changes. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.